Right now, after years of not reaching an agreement, Madison police officers may be closer to having body cameras with a potential vote tomorrow to make it official. Plus, hard-hit Jefferson County continues the cleanup from last week's severe storms. That's all ahead on News 3 Now at 10. After years of back and forth, Madison police officers may be closer to having body cameras. The Police Civilian Oversight Board met tonight to discuss the pilot program and the Common Council will vote on its implementation tomorrow. Armand Rahman sat down with Madison Police Chief Sean Barnes to discuss his efforts to equip his officers with those body cams. Armand? Eric, currently only SWAT and motorcycle officers with MPD have body cameras. It's the only department out of Wisconsin's 10 largest cities other than Waukesha to not have body cams department-wide. We know more about police conduct with video than we would know without. Members of Madison's Police Civilian Oversight Board met once more before Common Council meets to vote on whether or not the police department can test body-worn cameras. I think they should take in consideration mostly important or most importantly uh, what the city attorney's office had to say and I believe that they believe we have substantially complied. Chief Sean Barnes says he added to the policy drafted by the city attorney's office for the 90-day pilot program. Just because you wear a body worn camera you do not lose your discretion to make good sound decisions. I thought that was excellent point. Barnes says the cameras can help with transparency and be a tool for the department. It could also be used for training. Uh, yesterday, as you know, we had someone who was threatening suicide and our officers and our negotiators went out and did an excellent job. Maybe the process that they used during that negotiation could be used um, for training. Chief Barnes says he's heard the concerns for citizens' privacy, but he says there are spaces like hospitals where they will never be recording, and the state's public records law regulates what can be released to citizens and the media. The first question that we ask is, who is the requester? If you're in the video and you're requesting that video, you have more rights to the entirety of that video than say I do if I'm not in it. Let's get on with the pilot and then we'll evaluate the pilot and then we'll know if this is something we want for Madison or not. Barnes says he knows it's been a long journey, but he says the pilot program is a necessary step. Now, you may be sitting at home and feeling like this topic is deja vu in city government, kind of. Last April, the Common Council approved implementing the pilot program as long as the city's attorney's office reviewed it. They gave their feedback and green light, so tomorrow is presumably the final vote, officially authorizing MPD to get going. Earlier today, the National Weather Service confirmed a tornado touched down near Palmyra. That's in southeastern Jefferson County during Friday night severe weather. Jefferson County saw its fair share of damage. If you walk down just about any residential street in Fort Atkinson, you'll see the storm damage left behind from Friday. Few homes there suffering some significant damage with trees, as you can see, along with big branches falling on rooftops. City manager says city crews are continuing to clear the streets to make them passable, pushing trees to the side. Fortunately, there have been no reports of any injuries after the storm. Much different scene tonight on the Beltline. Unlike Friday, it would not have been fun to get stuck on that road in severe weather. But for this week, the forecast appears to be staying mostly dry. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti now with your first warm forecast. Yeah, and also a lot calmer, too. Plus, we probably won't see the excessive heat and humidity that we saw just before those storms last week. As we take a look at the time lapse from the WIC TV Skycam, we had sunshine for much of the day today, just a few cumulus clouds and some high cirrus clouds that were moving in from the south and uh, the west. But otherwise, things were pretty quiet. Uh, you can see here across uh, Wisconsin, no precipitation. There are some strong to severe thunderstorms over parts of, of uh, North Dakota. But that's about the first rain of any consequence. High temperatures today, 82 in Madison, 82 in Janesville, 79 in Mineral Point, and 78 degrees in Juneau. Current temperatures are in the middle 60s, although Janesville and uh, Monroe are still at or above 70 degrees. But across Dane County, 66 right now in McFarland, 67 degrees in Oregon, and 65 in Verona. Look for skies to be mostly clear overnight. Low temperature dropping to around 60 degrees. We'll take a look at a forecast. It does include some rain, but probably not as much as what we saw on Friday. I'll take a look at the totals that we can expect in just a few minutes. Well, in this summer, we've seen drought, wildfire smoke from Canada, and as recently as last week, some extreme heat in southern Wisconsin. Wisconsin. That hasn't seemed to impact the summer tourism sector, though. Business is still booming for many resorts and attractions in the Dells, including Noah's Ark. The general manager of America's largest water park says Noah's Ark has stayed very busy over the summer so far, with the weather actually to thank. 
I think a lot of it is the weather that, that's really helping us this summer as a business. We have adopted some new uh, kind of guest friendly policies related to weather, uh, rainstorms, which ironically we haven't had this summer. Uh, as well, we're just really trying to enhance the guest experience everywhere along with uh, different events on pretty much every weekend. Now, attendance levels still haven't reached where they were pre pandemic, but they are up this year compared to the previous two summers. News 3 Investigates has found a Baptist pastor in Madison has continued preaching even as the state revoked his child care license. This because of police findings from a sexual assault investigation of a child. Police wrapped up their investigation, one that started in April, and recommended the Dane County DA bring a charge of first degree child sexual assault against Bob Stein, a pastor at Midvale Baptist Church. The DA is still reviewing the case, but the state permanently revoked his license citing child safety violations and their own investigation. Stein has retained legal counsel who says they're cooperating with police. There's much more to this story. You can see the full investigative report online at channel3000.com. Governor Tony Evers is condemning a group of Nazi protesters who were seen at a Pride in the Park event over the weekend in Watertown. A group of about a dozen men wearing all black waved flags bearing swastikas, gave Nazi salutes, and yelled homophobic slurs. One man was reportedly armed with a rifle. These photos come courtesy of the Watertown Daily Times. And in a tweet, the governor said their presence was, quote, a disgusting and direct attack on our state's LGBTQ community, communities of color, and Jewish Wisconsinites. This is unacceptable and unwelcome in Wisconsin, period. Madison police are looking for a pair of porch pirates who stole a mattress from a porch on the city's east side last week. Now, see if you recognize either of the people in this video which captured them taking a bed in a box in the 700 block of Cherrywood Court early morning hours last Thursday. Anyone with information is asked to call Madison Area Crime Stoppers. The number there at the bottom of your screen, it is 608-266-6014. A jury up in Monroe County has convicted a 74-year-old former Toma school teacher of sex crimes against a student. Ann Nelson Cook is facing more than 600 years of prison time. She was convicted on 25 counts of repeated sexual assault of a 14-year-old boy in the basement of a private school during the 2016-2017 school year. According to the district attorney, a three-day trial ended with a jury deliberating for five hours before returning the verdict. She'll be sentenced October 27th. We are learning the identities of the four people who died in aircraft crashes at EAA over the weekend. On Saturday afternoon, a helicopter and a gyrocopter collided midair at the the south end of the flight line at Whitman Regional Airport. The two who died were identified as the pilot of the helicopter, 69-year-old Mark Peterson out of Foley, Alabama, and his passenger, 72-year-old Thomas Voles of Amelia, Ohio. Hours before that incident, a T-6 Texan plane crashed into Lake Winnebago, killing two others. Those victims identified as 20-year-old Zach Colley Moreno, whose hometown was not immediately available, and 30-year-old Devin Riley from Guadalupe, Texas. Those are never easy to deal with. Um, our communications team will continue to keep everybody posted with any of the additional facts as they unfold. NTSB investigations usually put out a fact report a couple days after a crash. Then in about three weeks, an initial report will be released. The final report that establishes probable cause of the crash takes about a year. In South Carolina, the Myrtle Beach Police Department says an advertising banner plane crashed into the Atlantic Ocean earlier today. A spokesperson says the pilot survived and was the only person on board. The extent of any injuries is unknown. That plane registered to Barnstormers Aerial Advertising was actually manufactured more than 75 years ago, back in 1947. Paul Rubens, the actor best known for his role as Pee Wee Herman, has died. His death announced in a post on his verified Instagram page earlier today. That post said the beloved actor privately fought cancer for years. As Pee Wee Herman, Rubens delighted generations of children and adults with his positivity and kindness. His final Pee Wee Herman movie was released in 2016. Paul Rubens was 70 years old. And the family of Euphoria star Angus Cloud says he has died at the age of 25. Cloud, who starred as Fezco in the HBO series, died at his Oakland, California home. He was discovered by a casting director during a brief stint living in Brooklyn, and that launched his acting career. His family notes that Cloud's father was buried just last week and the actor had struggled with that loss. A political action committee that supports former President Trump has now spent more than $40 million on legal expenses for both Mr. Trump and his aides. The Republican presidential candidate has several legal battles ongoing, but as Skylar Henry reports, Trump is still the front runner to win the GOP nomination. 
Carlos de Oliveira didn't speak after his first court hearing Monday. Has your client been asked to testify against Mr. Trump? The Mar-a-Lago property manager is expected to enter a plea next month in the classified documents case. He's accused of working with former President Trump to try to delete security footage sought by the special counsel's office. Well, thank you very much, Erie. Trump, who faces more than three dozen charges in this case and is in the middle of several other legal battles, rallied in Pennsylvania over the weekend. You know, they're not indicting me, they're indicting you. I just happen to be standing in their way. That's all it is. Trump supporters are showing no signs of wavering. A New York Times Siena poll of likely Republican voters shows him at 54 percent, with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis at just 17 percent. No one else is above three. The country's going in the wrong direction. Trump's challengers are hoping voters begin to see his legal issues as a liability. We need to be focusing on using our energy and resources on defeating Biden and the Democrats. We can't keep living with indictments and court cases and vengeance of the past. We've got to start going forward. Trump has five separate trials scheduled between October and next May, which overlaps with the majority of the Republican primary schedule. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. And more local stories straight ahead at 10. A new tool launched by police in Beloit uh, has made it easier to report crimes in the city. We'll share what that is and why officers believe it will be successful. Stay with us. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Winner of the best evening newscast by the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association. We're busy. <laughs> I get it. So Stanton Optical works with your schedule. Buy online, pick up in-store, same day, and get a free fitting. I mean, look at my to-do list. Skip the wait. Get your kids' glasses made the same day, only at Stanton Optical. Get up to 56% off list at our huge 56th anniversary sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible deals. Plus, enter to win a free car. It doesn't get any better than this. Amazing deals on living rooms, bedrooms, mattresses, and more. Oh, did we mention totally free shipping with no minimum? Up to 56% off list, 56th anniversary sale, and someone's walking away with a free car at Slumberland Furniture. It's a big deal. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, Bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on select popular Chevy SUVs when you finance with GM Financial. Plus, make no monthly payments for 90 days. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Want a tighter, flatter tummy and the hottest deal of the year? Then check out new Ab EX from Sonobello. After my pregnancies, my body just never bounced back. I had this stomach overhang that made me self conscious. Emotionally, it was really sad. Feeling good up here, but you look down and you don't. After having my babies, it went in different direction. From here, it went to here, and I just couldn't get rid of that. Introducing Ab EX from Sonobello. Remove fat and lose excess skin permanently in just one visit. I got the tummy tuck results without the tummy tuck downtime. And I finally got the flat stomach I wanted. I'm able to get back in my size eight jeans. I feel sexy, I feel confident. It just it feels good to feel good and look good. Schedule your free no obligation consultation now and find out how to get your dream body on your budget with our best offer of the year. Call or go to sonobello.com and get exclusive access to our employee only pricing. At Stanton Optical, you get great value on eye care, including contacts. Right now, get a one-year supply of AccuView Oasis and an eye exam for only $189. Scan now to book your eye exam. Yay, technology! On the Jennifer Hudson Show, Rob Riggle's Big Break. You keep your eye on the prize, these things can work out. I gave me chills. And Sam Coughlin stops by. The music and a lot of drama. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Beloit police are trying to make it a bit easier to report crimes in their city, starting with a new online reporting system launched today. Now getting help is just a couple clicks away, as Merrill Hubbard explains. Numerous police departments have started to implement online outreach. 
giving people a way to self-report incidents that already happened. This is not for uh, incidents that are currently happening. This is for belated incidents. For officers in Beloit, that's things like theft, vandalism, fraud, and shoplifting. Our supervisors will look at every one of the reports and decide what follow-up needs to be done, and then it'll be handed down to an officer. Police say the new self-report system will make officers more efficient and allow them to spend more time preventing crime from happening. We want them to be proactive. Um, we want them to be looking for the problems in, in the community, not, not being reactive where we're, we're having to respond to something that's already happened. This will also give a voice to people in the community. It's going to promote their engagement. Um, if an officer doesn't have to come to their house, they can simply go online. Similarly, the Madison Police Department released a virtual response system in June. We checked in to see how it's going. We're pushing people uh, to this particular platform. It's been slow going, but we'll continue to relaunch and talk about it until maybe uh, it catches on. But this is not unusual. Mara Hubbard, News 3 Now. Although it may take some getting used to, people are encouraged to use new online reporting systems. Well, Madison will bid farewell to the CrossFit Games this week after six years going strong. The 2023 Games begin tomorrow for the very last time here in southern Wisconsin. The reason? Well, event organizers want to expose more athlete, more people to the event, which means having to leave the region to move it elsewhere. And since making its Madison debut, the CrossFit Games have drawn thousands of visitors to Madison, not just to participate or watch the games to enjoy really what the entire area has to offer. It's also brought in millions of dollars in terms of economic impact. Yeah, so this is our last year uh, hosting the game. So if you haven't been out yet, I would get out now. We will definitely miss it next year. Uh, $12 million is hard to replace. Uh, we'll definitely feel the impact next year when they're not here. But uh, we've, we've definitely, as a community, made the most of it Why it's been here. CrossFit Games begins tomorrow, last through Sunday at the Align Energy Center. Schools with more diverse student populations have a harder time holding on to principals. That's according to data from the National Center for Education Statistics. It shows about 7% of principals at schools where at least 50% of the student body is made up of students of color moved to a different school between the previous two school years. That rate was 4.6% at schools where less than 25% of enrolled students were of color. The data does not indicate the principal's reasons for moving. The research was gathered from all 50 states and Washington, D.C. We'll take a look at this. More than 100 hot air balloons took to the skies in Indianola, Iowa yesterday part of the National Balloon Classic. The day included a competition in which hot air balloon pilots try to drop bean bags the closest to targets. Hot air ballooning isn't for the faint of heart, but one couple says riding in one, well, it was on their bucket list. Something that you dream of doing and think, will I ever do it? And a couple months ago, we said, if we're going to do it, let's just do it. It's, it was exciting. It's a, it's feel, you feel like you're floating. And the nine-day classic started Friday, but the balloons were grounded Saturday night due to high winds. There are multiple hot air balloon flights scheduled each day through this Saturday, all weather permitting, of course. And on that note, Chief Meteorologist Scary Canalti back with our first warm forecast. You know, the one thing you, you don't think about, you know, with hot air ballooning is if it's really hot out, you have to heat the balloons even more to get them to go up. So it's very hard to do hot air ballooning when it's hot out. And the wind, you don't want a lot of wind. No, that's true. Uh, normally when you have hot air, you don't have a lot of wind, but, you know, <laughs> you got to get the balloons off the ground first. Around here, uh, this would actually be pretty nice weather for hot air ballooning, at least uh, today and this past weekend. And I think the next day or two might be pretty nice as well. As we take a look at three things you need to know in the forecast, look for warm weather for the next 10 days. Be very warm from Wednesday through Friday with high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Humid for the second half of the week into Saturday, and that will lead to some chances for showers and thunderstorms. Slight chance from Wednesday through Sunday with maybe a little better chance in the Friday night into Saturday time frame. Um, just some of the very latest computer model indications that might have to be shifted into Sunday, but we'll see. Uh, precipitation, we're at the end of the month. Uh, July was a wet month for Madison. How about that? After being very dry for May and June, uh, we had a little over six inches of rain. Uh, that was 1.7 inches above normal. But since June 1st, we're still running almost a two and a half inch deficit because June was just so dry. And we normally get about four and a half inches of rain during June. And month or year to date, uh, we're down almost four 
inches of rain. Uh, some of that was during the winter that was very dry, but uh, still we could use some rain. That help, That's more for long-term drought, river levels and lake levels being low. Uh, Doppler track right now, Wisconsin pretty much free of precipitation. Uh, that will be the case again for tomorrow. I think we'll see a chance for some showers and thunderstorms from Wednesday into Wednesday night, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night. But now the computer models are indicating more for the northern portion of the state and southern Wisconsin may be missing out on that first batch of rain. But even longer term, if you take a look at the next 10 days, we're not looking at a lot of rain, uh, probably a quarter to a tenth of an inch of rain over southern Wisconsin at a time where we should see about an inch to an inch and a half of rain over a 10 day period. Uh, high temperatures today, upper 70s, low 80s in Wisconsin, very comfortable here. Heat, though, still continuing to bake the southern plains. Temperatures near 100 or over 100 through much of Kansas, even into parts of far southern Nebraska, Texas, Oklahoma, sweltering right now. But weather track shows that we're high and dry. The jet stream right now just kind of curls around, and that's driving any shower and thunderstorm activity to the southeast and keeping it to the west of us. So as long as that pattern holds, we'll stay dry here. For tomorrow, look for skies to become partly sunny. It'll be warm. High temperature at 83. Humidity levels, though, still pretty tolerable, so not a bad day overall. Planning your day across Dane County, high of 83 Fitchburg, 82 Belleville, 82 in Mount Horeb with partly sunny skies. Across the rest of southern Wisconsin, high of 83 Janesville, 80 in Monroe, and 86 in La Crosse. As we look at future track precipitation, this is for Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. Again, it looks like it's favoring the, fo uh, the Fox Valley and up into northeastern Wisconsin. Much of southern Wisconsin may miss out at least on that first batch of Rain. But as we take a look at the first one, 7 to 10 day forecast, temperatures mid to upper 80s, maybe a little better chance for a shower or thunderstorm Friday night into Saturday. Then as we get into next week, we're back to dry weather, but at least temperatures will be pretty comfortable. We'll be looking at highs in the lower 80s, nighttime low temperatures, upper 50s to around 60. Gary, thank you. Another step in the recovery process for Damar Hamlin. The Buffalo Bills safety wore pads for the first time at practice since going into cardiac arrest during a game back in January. Doctors cleared him to resume full football activity several months ago, but today marks another milestone in that recovery. While Hamlin said the medical trauma he endured was life-changing, he says he's glad to be back on the field and competing once again in the NFL. It's just another milestone as far as the journey, you know. It's going to be a long, 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 long journey, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, some of these emotions will never leave, you know. Whenever everybody's not paying attention to me no more, you know, I'll still be processing these emotions myself. Hamlin also said he is not afraid to admit he gets a little scared here or there, but explained his strength is rooted in his faith. And coming up in sports, the Brewers blow it in the seventh, but the good and the bad from the nation's capital is next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Dear Freedom, here's to more miles driven, more dollars saved, and more electrified vehicles than any other brand. Yours, Toyota Hybrids. Toyota. Let's go places. When our clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, yes! Everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Hey, hey! You're tuned in to Better Halves. Skip, I love my hometown. And I want a health plan that feels the same way. So, what are your favorite local date spots? Oh, me, um, yeah. I know, like, like all the date spots in... Eclair. Ooh. Jane, I'm Steve from Security. I've lived here in Wisconsin my whole life, and that means I understand your health coverage needs better. By the way, Doug, it's Eau Claire. I have a dozen Eclairs in my dressing room. Wish you had help getting things done. Same. So I got section one. Fast internet, unlimited mobile, and advanced Wi-Fi, all for a great price. Spectrum helps me run all this easily. Work, bust. Treat dispenser, treating. And since I'm always on this, unlimited mobile is a no-brainer. Get Spectrum internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, and your first line of unlimited mobile free for 12 months. Call 833-802-4999, or visit spectrum.com today. We need to talk about Sonabello. We are getting rid of all of this 
all of this today. Ladies, this summer you can cover up or feel confident from head to toe with Sono Bello. One visit permanent fat removal. Look at this shape. My tummy is gone and my hourglass shape is back. Wherever there is excess fat, we can remove it. That's what we do all day, every day. Sono Bello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good. I could actually wear a two piece after 20 five years. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Now, with our Best Body Summer event, you can schedule your free, no obligation consultation, plus save $250 off instantly. That's $250 off your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. Call 1-888-634-9939 or go to sonobello.com. When our clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, yes! Everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Dear Freedom, here's to more miles driven, more dollars saved, and more electrified vehicles than any other brand. Yours, Toyota Hybrids. Toyota. Let's go places. Training camp can get a lo little long and monotonous, so there are days you circle to keep yourself into it. The first day, obviously, is one that everyone looks forward to, but also the first day of pads. That was this morning for the Packers, and they had a special guest at Titletown for it. Peyton Manning was in attendance, checking out Jordan Love's progress, something that the leader of the Green Bay defense says is steadily improving thanks to their help. No one's going to be perfect, you know, and then, I mean, he's going to be against a good defense and a really good secondary at that, you know. Let's also take that into play. So, I mean, we're just getting him better, and at the same time, he's getting us better. We got experienced players now, so we're all just going to fly around to the ball. I think that's what he means by being more aggressive. I mean, we're going to get in your face, and we're going to, like, lock you up. Well, watch list season is officially underway, and today was the big one. The Maxwell Award, which is given to the most outstanding player in college football, Watch listed two Badgers, Braylon Allen and Tanner Mordecai. Allen's coming off a sophomore campaign where he rushed for over 1,200 yards and 11 touchdowns, while Mordecai threw for 3,524 yards and 33 TDs at SMU. What a first year in Madison it's been for KK Harvey. First, the Badger defender helped lead Wisconsin women's hockey to their seventh national title. And then, Harvey followed that up by dominating on the world stage with Team USA, where she scored 14 points and took home a gold medal in the Women's World Championships. Now, she's one of 10 finalists for the Sports Women Woman of the Year in the Team Sport category. Winners will be announced in October. Brewers' road trip continued on the nation's capital tonight. Crew opening up a three-game series against the Nationals. Seventh inning, tied at two. Joey Weimer makes the ball go wee! His solo shot gives Milwaukee a 3-2 lead, but the bottom of the frame, not a good one. The Brewers gave up three runs in the seventh and lose their fourth straight, 5-3, the final. And longtime Whitewater men's basketball coach Pat Miller has called it a career. During his 22 years on the sidelines, Miller helped lead the Warhawks to 434 wins, six WEAC championships, five conference tournament titles, three trips to the Final Four, and two Division III national championships. Jared Wixer will take over the program as the interim head coach. We're back after this. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT Turbo Max pickups, or current Chevy owners get 6750 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Hopefully, your family will never need to hire a personal injury lawyer. But if you ever do, it's important to understand that not all law firms are the same. A lot more is involved than one phone call and a quick settlement. 
To make things right again, it can take time, and it will take talent. Since 1930, Habish, Habish & Rotier has recovered more million-dollar results for our clients than any other law firm in Wisconsin. Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation. Hometown service. When an appliance you rely on goes kaput, you can count on family-owned Brothers Main, Southern Wisconsin's local appliance authority since 1938. With thousands of in-stock options, we have the brands you want at the lowest prices guaranteed. Even big box can't beat our prices. Our experienced team of appliance experts will help you make the right selection, and we deliver it fast and free to your home. What you need when you need it. Shop appliances you can bring home today at our Madison and Janesville showrooms. Feel like family. Brothers Main. We're the Packers Scratch Game crew, bringing back Packers Scratch Games for you. The pack is back, new Scratch Games are here, with four season tickets you could win for a year. There's instant cash prizes, and other bonus drawing surprises. Packers Scratch Games are back, with instant cash prizes up to $30,000, and a bonus drawing for four season tickets for one year. Prices range from $1 to $10, available now at all Wisconsin lottery retailers. We're not kidding, somebody will be winning. Get 11% off back to school living arts. Whether you're heading back to campus and need to stock up on amenities for your dorm room, decor, or snacks and beverages, Menards has you covered to make your room yours. If you need to fill up your backpack with notebooks, pens, and more supplies for the classroom, we've got plenty of options to get you through the year. Stock up and save 11% on back to school. Save big money at Menards. Your digital source for local news and info for 25 years. Channel 3000. I noticed you left Peter Bowden off the Manly <laughs> watch list for the best long snapper in the country. Well, you know, we I need Give to I need to love, refre man. refresh uh, on some of that long snap video. So yeah. we'll, we'll get him in there. Peter Bowden, guy to watch this year. Really good long snap for Badgers. Final check, Gary. Watching the weather too. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to watch right now. I like it. There's no, there's no watch. Yeah, you don't want watches in the weather. <laughs> Let's take a look at the live view from the Edgewater SkyCam. Looking pretty nice out there. Uh, temperatures very comfortable. 65 Madison, still 70 in Janesville and Monroe, but most everybody else is in, are in the 60s across Dane County. Uh, right now, 67 degrees in Stoughton, 63 in Cross Plains, and 64 in Wanakee. Just remember, you can't have a game-winning field goal <laughs> without a game-winning snap. Always. You're a little biased. I'm a little biased. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for watching.